Welcome. Let's talk about uh, the grading system that was introduced in the year 2023 and it is going to be used in this year 2024 as well. So the grading the system, the new grading system that was implemented in the year 2023 last year for the KCSC students. In the new grading system, there are only two mandatory subjects. One is mathematics and another one is one language. So the language can it be English, can it be Swahili, or can it be a sign language for those who are doing the sign language. So here, a student has to perform well in math because whether it is an E or a whatever it is graded, this it has to be used in grading. For the languages, they will pick either Swahili or English or the sign language the student has done. It is no longer the way it was previously where we had five compulsory subjects, that is uh, math, English, Swahili, and the two, two sciences, one humanity and one technical. That is not the case now. Now there is nothing like uh, sciences, there is nothing like humanities, there is nothing like technicals. So once they have picked mathematics and one language, in addition to the two subjects, mandatory subjects, the Kenya National Examination Council will consider any other five best performed subjects. So I want you to mark where the and the words which has been underlined and other five best subjects they did not mention sciences they did not mention uh, arts they did not mention technicals they said the kenya national examination will consider any other five best performed subjects it is expected that the new reform measure will increase the number of students qualifying for the university. That was the aim, is to ensure that many students go to university, to diploma, to the debate, to certificate, all of those levels. <coughs> I have student one. This performance of a student one is as follows. This student has done eight subjects. So, Maths is compulsory, so that one is compulsory. Then they will look at these languages. English, the student are gonna be plus. Swahili are gonna see C plain. So they will pick English. So now from the word the remaining, they will pick five. So here it is one, remaining subject is one, two. Three, four, five, six. So this one are considered as the remaining subjects. So from here, they will pick the best five. So they will look at these remaining subjects. Waone, nigani ime performi wa vizuri. Ukiangalia geography, na wangalia na kiswahili yenye iliachwa. It's best performed when you compare to geography. So for these students, they will not use geography. The geography is not going to be used, right? So they will use Swahili, this, 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 <coughs> and this, so that now the subjects are seven. So that the subjects are seven. So they will add the points from 11, 10, 6, 9, 8, 10, 10. And the students will have a total point of 64. The average point, they divide the points by seven, they get this point, and then the student has got overall grade of a P plane. Overall grade of a P plane. We have student two, whose performance is as follows. So this system is favorable to those who are doing eight subjects, but those who are doing seven subjects, you have no option. All the subjects will be used for grading. You, there's no you are you are unlucky but for those who are doing eight they have an advantage they have an advantage so this one math is compulsory he has performed well english and xyr english is well performed here and then we go to this other subject 
we will label this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the remaining from which they will pick five. So look at this one. Which one is best performed? Chemistry, the student has got a D plus. D plus and XYD is a C. So this time around, XY will be taken. It's not going to be considered as a language again. It is the remaining five, the remaining subject, right? So here, you are going to take XY. They will take physics. They will take biology, CRE, and computer, and use them to rank the student, right? So uh, this chemistry with two points, with four points, is not going to be used to rank the subject because we don't care about the, the, the technical science, science or whatever you think. So the students will have 65 points and finally we'll have a mini grade of B. Student 3, this student This student has got a C plus, has got a C plus, so math is compulsory. And then we compare English and XYE. The student has performed very well in XYE, so it will be used. English will be left when they are comparing languages. After that, now they will look at the remaining six subjects for these students who are doing eight. So the remaining is one. Two, three, four, five, six. These are remaining subjects. From this remaining six, they will pick five best performed. Mark that. Five best performed. So five best performed in Ghani. Wanaangalia English ye nyimebaki. Sasa is not now considered as a language anymore. You see that? It is the remaining after picking the one language and the maths. The remaining. That is the remaining. So here, they will pick. Look at the performance. English is P+. Plus, uh, chemistry P+. Plain. Physics is a D-. minus, A D-. minus two points. So it means these students, they will not use physics. Physics is not going to be used to grade the student. Physics will not be used. Remember, the aim for this system is to ensure many students go to university. And when they go there, they will pick what they want to do, right? So in this case, physics is not going to be considered in grading the student. So the total student points for this student is going to be 58. Average point will be 8 point that. And the students will have um, a mini grade of B minus, right? So, student four, we have student four here. Student four, me pata E math. That's a, it is unfortunate to come pata E, but it is, it's going to be used in during the, the ranking. It is unfortunate. So, this one will be used. They will look at languages, English and XY. Now they will pick English because it's well performed. They will but they will ignore English. So now the remaining subject we have one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the remaining subjects. In this remaining subject, they will pick five best performed. Now let us see which one is best performed. This one is well, this one is okay, this one is okay, this one is okay, this one is okay. And then English, you see now English here, it is not going to be used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So they will use this one. Unfortunately, maths will be used, so they will have seven subjects from there. So English this time around, they, will, they are not going to use it in grading the student. So the student will have a total of 53 points, and the student will have a P play. So for you to qualify for university direct entry pass mark, you must ensure you have 48 points 
and above 48 points and above for you to qualify to have a C plus and above. So as you struggle, make sure you have a C plus, uh, 48 points or cumulative points should be 48 when you add them. Remember to subscribe, share to your friends. Thank you.